Hi, welcome back to Jumpstart Code. This is Pam Price. We want to talk a little bit more about tables in HTML and how to merge cells across multiple rows. To do this, there is an attribute that we use call, that's called row span. So let's take a look at how we use this. The easiest way is to, uh, I have a table that's already created that I'm going to show you how to modify it to use row span. So let's say I want to set up my weekly schedule. So I've got the hours here, the days here, and what my classes are, what I'm going to be doing. So this is just set up right now with all individual cells. Let's take a look at this and the code that goes along with it. So what we have to do again is make sure that we start with a table tag. Um, to get this caption here, I'm using a caption tag. Then each row needs its own TR and closing tag. Again, to, as a reminder, the reason I'm seeing the borders around the cells is because here at the top in the head section, I've added some CSS styling to all my table, TH, and TD cells to apply a border around them and to collapse the borders. All right, so again, here's the first row. You notice if you don't want anything in the cell, you can just leave it empty, but you do need a placeholder there if you want to maintain the table structure. So I've got four, one, two, five rows, three columns. So that means within each row, there are three cells. So the first row, the blank cell, Monday and Tuesday. I'm using TH so that they'll be bold. The second row, I've got the time here and math and computer. The third row, 10 a.m. math and computer. The fourth row, 11 a.m. English and computer. The last row, noon, English and lunch. All right, so we'd like to not repeat this math in two places. So I want math to span two rows, right? So you see that math right now is in two different places. What I'm going to be able to do is remove the second one here, which is the duplicate. And in the first one, I will say row span equals two. And that means that that data will go across two rows. So let's save it and refresh. And you see that worked. And the other thing I want you guys to realize is rather than me going in and doing them all at one time, I want to try one of them and make sure that I understand how that works. Now that I have some feedback that shows me how that works, I can apply it to English. So instead of repeating, you see I have English here and English in this row, I can remove the duplicate and I want this English in the, the uh, fourth row to have a row span of two. And again, you have to put that in quotes, either single quotes or double quotes. So I will save this refresh the page. There you go. Now I can have different types of row spans. So in the case of computer here, maybe that's my computer lab. I want to span three rows, right? So if I go in here and look, I have computer here. I have computer here. I have computer here. So we are going to remove the duplicates. So that's one. That's two. And this one is going to span three rows. Row span equals three. So again, the syntax is very particular and I really recommend you make one change at a time. And you see that worked. So maybe I wanted to say computer lab since I have a little more space now. So I'll save that and refresh this page and you see that we've been able to do that. So now we have used row span to take data and 
basically merge it across rows or have it span multiple rows. Again, the, the key to doing this is just create the table with duplicate text in the cells that you want to span to start with. And then you will um, actually go in and remove the duplicates. So now that I've removed all these duplicates, if I want to just get rid of, the, the, of these blank lines, I can, right? But it's a whole lot easier to build this. Um, I, I have a better visual structure of what I'm trying to do and what I need to um, change if I start off with the duplicates and then I use row span to um, remove them. So these are really good things to practice with.